Yeah, in eighth grade, I thought this was funny. It's not. Safety first, children. I better not catch you running with scissors. Scissors, am I right? Scissor? I hardly know her. Cutting <laughs> <laughs> stuff with scissors is a skill used in many areas of life, and it's something that most people learn when they're very young, but it's a skill that we often take for granted. I'm gonna put my brother's scissor cutting skills to the test in the WSSS. Welcome back, folks, to the World Speed Scissor Showcase, aka WSSS. So today we got our first contestant, R of here. Um, basically, he has to cut this super intense shape. What is yep. this again? I, I don't really know. He has to cut it out on the paper as fast as he can, and um, if he does, he'll get the winning prize of two cents. All right, we're gonna be starting in three, two, one, go! And he's after the races with a straight run. Oh, oh, what the heck is he doing? How's he folding the paper? He has to take his scissors off. Oh my God, he's terrible. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Let the camera see. Oh my God. Second stretch, second stretch. Oh, what a fast second stretch. And he goes right to the next one. He's almost done, come on. Home stretch, home st Oh no, he's messing up, he's messing up. Don't worry, guys, remember, he has to be accurate as well. Hold it up if you're done. And he's done, he's done. Time, let's get a review on that, folks. Now for Arav, this skill is extremely easy. But the same can't be said for many others. The loss of dexterity in the hands causes the inability con to control fine motor skills, and therefore people will be unable to operate normal scissors like this. This can be caused by a lot of things. For example, it can be caused by joint damage with something like arthritis. More serious causes may be related to the nervous system. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs as, as a result of nerve pressure. Additionally, ataxia refers to the loss of fine motor skills caused by damage to the cerebellum, which is in the base of the brain. And this damage can be a result of several conditions such as cerebral palsy or multiple scler sclerosis and a bunch of other different neurological conditions. So as you can see, this is a problem that affects a lot of people, but what can we do? Well, currently there are electric scissors that exist in the market that automatically cut at the press of a button. However, these are more geared towards like sewing and cutting fabrics and they also come at a hefty price. So there must be something we can do to cut those costs. I'm very sorry. All right, so most people already have scissors in their house. So ideally this product would be something that attaches already working scissors quickly and easily. This would not only make it more cheap, but also make it a lot more versatile. Also, many of the neurological conditions that cause ataxia are commonly found in children. So something that can be attached to um, a working pair of scissors can be really useful in like a classroom environment. As a teacher, it can simply just like pop on product um, onto scissors from their existing class set. All right, so the first step I took was making a prototype using some scissors in my house, some Legos, um, an Arduino, one servo motor, and a whole lot of tape. That turned out to be a huge mess. But luckily, I found a ready-made one growing next to a tree outside my house. I haven't added a button to like start or stop the motor yet because um, I'm right now I'm just using the Arduino reset button so it's like super jank but as you can see it gets the job done somewhat. Now it's time to go back to the WSSS to race with the proto scissors. And welcome back to another episode of WSSS! The World Speed Scissors Showcase. Now today we got our contestant Arvadovker going up against the proto scissor. As you can see, this is an automatic electric scissor that's gonna destroy Arv in competition, right Arv? <laughs> no! As you can see, we have the super intense scissor cutting shape, like just like this. Um, again, again, the contestants must cut the shape as fast as possible and also as accurate as possible. And then the judge, um, aka me, is gonna give um, a grade for both contestants, all right? Are you guys ready? All right, I'm just gonna start. Okay, we are going to start in three, two, snow, go! Oh no, he's gonna beat me. Photo scissors, nice and accurate. Dun, 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 dun. Contestants, hold up your cutout. Now it's time for the judge, aka me, to give the grades. <laughs> so um, for predecessor, ooh, this looks like a really well well cut thing. Um, as you can see, the lines are really close to the borders. So I'm gonna have to give this an A plus. And let's see our Vodafars. Uh, yeah, our is an F minus. All right, so the predecessor wins. Yay!
Now that the prototype is complete, it's time to CAD the actual product. Um, the CAD can be kind of boring, so I'm just going to show you some pictures of scissors to keep you entertained. I've been saying the word scissors a lot this video. Scissor sizzle. Thistle sizzle. Scissor sizzle. Thistle sizzle. Alright, I can't hide the CAD from you any longer. CAD sequence, go! Okay, so we got the super epic scissors guide. We got the motor case, the motor inside, connected to gears, beveled, obviously, connected to this little, little arm that easily clips on. So does the motor mount. Super cool, super awesome. Let's go. So the next time you pick up a pair of scissors, I want you to think about how... With the power that you have gifted me, I shall rise up from our 2D paper world and lead my fellow scissor brethren to revolt against the tyrannical human overlords, for they are no match for our sheer willpower. Pun very much intended. Thank you.